Sijachoka mimi. Nataka kuosha moto wa Yerusalemu. Nataka kuosha moto wa Mungu. Nataka kuosha the supernatural fire. The fire that speaks against every fire. The name that is above every other name. The fire that is above every Mungu tayari 
Muko tayari Nataka uchibuwe bendera ya kesu Bendera bendera Kila mtu tafta bendera tafta bendera Ati bendera ya kesu Sasa ina pepea Bendera ya kesu Sasa ina pepea Bendera ya kesu Sasa ina pepea Bendera ya kesu Sasa ina pepea
Central stage now. Holy Spirit of God, take over now. In the name of Jesus, overtake me. Overpower me now. Yakata la beda. Let men be delivered. Let men hear you. In the name of Jesus. You worship. In Jesus' name. Somebody celebrate Jesus. You can do better. Celebrate. Uh, I ask everybody if there is a seat in front of you that does not have a person, make sure that you sit in front of that seat. By the grace of God, to just above we to celebrate praise and worship. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I thank God for the grace that he has allowed us to be here. Say hello to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Hello. I see you. Amen. Say neighbor. I'm happy to see you. Say neighbor. I am happy. I have seen you. Praise the Lord. Ask it of a neighbor. Are you happy to see me? Amen. So pigia para makobi mazuri. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to another neighbor. Say neighbor. You look good. You look beautiful. If it's a man, tell them you look handsome. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is good to celebrate your neighbor. Hallelujah. It is good to celebrate the person seated next to you. Nibizuri kumsherekea. Amen. Panesu asifiwe. Saingine ataka mana perfume na muliza. Na hiyo gibayo api. Hiyo perfume. Hiyo cologne. Hallelujah. Diyo kama ana anunue. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, you look good. Ah, from here, you look good. I'm so much excited that you allowed me today to speak a word in your life. Amen. I don't take it as far. Uh, I don't take it for granted. Praise the Lord. 
leo tulikuwa tuko na vita nani atahubiri bwana asifiwe lakini nyinyi mmeruhusu nyinyi nihubiri amen na kama uko na hiyo shida inua mkono juu amen hiyo <laughs> kuna mahali wanapiga nanga wanaambia hapana wewe ulihubiri sande tatu hii sande ni mimi haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe lakini sisi ni wangwana so upige hapa na magoi mazuri I'm so much excited to be here in the house of the Lord and I know we are going to be blessed. Amen. This being the second uh, Sunday of the month of February. This is our month and our year of manifestation. Hallelujah. Say I shall manifest. Ah, uh, you're not speaking like a believer. Say I shall manifest. Say anything in me I shall manifest. Kwa Kiswahili sema chochote kilicho ndani yangu kitaonekana. Hallelujah. Sema walioni dharau manake waliona sina chochote kuanzia sasa kilicho ndani yangu kitaonekana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Mwimbaji alisema kwamba waliokudharau siku moja wataku salimia na heshima. No, watakusalamia na heshima. Sema that is my testimony. No, you can say like I believe that is my testimony. Hallelujah. Say those who rejected me a day is coming they look for someone to introduce them to me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Say that is my portion. Say that is my portion. You see I came to realize some things about God. Niligundua mambo mengi na Mungu. Mungu badilisha mambo. Mungu ahitaji miaka, ahitaji dakika, anahitaji tu wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ye kubadilisha mambo ni wewe tu anabadilisha mambo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. So don't say it is too late. It is never late. When your time comes nobody can stop you. Wakikuwa wanasema nobody will tunya you. Nobody will tunya you. Nobody will take it. Whatever is who is yours. Nobody will take it. And I declare by the action of the Holy Ghost, whatever is ordained for your life, nobody will take it. They can go before you, but you'll overtake them and receive what is yours. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry because they are ahead of you. They can go ahead of you but that's not the case. The case is that that is yours. Even when they see they will never recognize it because it is yours until you have it. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. I've learned to stay with God. I've learned to work with God. I've learned to maintain my relationship with God. I've learned to hear God. And there's one thing that I realized with God is this that whatever he has ordained for you whatever he has ordained for you don't say that somebody took mine. No, it was not yours. That's why they took it. Uh uh-uh. uh The reason why they took it is because it was not yours. When when it is yours it cannot fit anybody. You are one of a kind. Wewe ni wa kipekee. Hiyo size yako ni yako na wewe peke yako. Hata mwingine apime haitamtoshea. Say whatever is mine, I shall have it. In Jesus name. Mimi sitaki tukua na hii conversation ya madimoni. Iko unajua kuna conversation ya kishetani shetani. Ah, ni yangu ilishachukuliwa, nyota yangu ilichukuliwa. Nani alichukua nyota yako? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unataka kuniambia nyota yako ilichukuliwa na nani? Nani alichukua? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa Kristo si tunyang'anywi vitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Sema sisi sisi hatunyang'anyangu. Haleluya. Pastor wangu ananiambia anga kitu moja anasema kwamba hiyo si ya kabisa, hiyo si ya kwetu. Watu wa kwetu wanyang'anyangwi. Watu wa kwetu washindwangwi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. One time I was so depressed and I was talking to my my biological father. Akanambia hiyo si ya kwetu hiyo. Hiyo. Hii mambo ananiambia hiyo si ya kwetu. Kama sana ajili na muona paroni ni kari ananiambia si ya kwetu. Anambia hii. Hii si ya kwetu. Maana ke kwetu atishindwangu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Akaniambia kwetu watu hawapandangi na kushuka. Hiyo si ya kwao. Na nikasema basi si ya kwetu pia mimi. 
Panezo asifiwe. Sema pia wewe hiyo si yako yetu. Kukosa pesa si yako yetu. Kurogwa hiyo si yako yetu. Na I wish you can speak like a believer. Sema si yako yetu. Panezo asifiwe. Sema kwetu akurogwangwi. Panezo asifiwe. Hallelujah. Panezo asifiwe. Si ya wapi? Haleluya. Wewe ulisikia Yesu amerogwa na nani? But we are co-heirs with Jesus. So he's like a brother to us. Na uko kwa kurogwa ngwi. Kwenye kuna rogo kwa nini? Sema it will never happen. Even Jesus being crucified, he gave himself. Sema nijipeana. Kwa nini sasa kwa hiyo tu tujipeana ngwi. Si ndo najipeana anga. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Sisi ni wa kabila ya Yuda. Sisi ni wakina Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo Kenya ifanyiki huko, haifanyiki kwetu. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. If you are believer say yes. Today I want to talk a word by the grace of God and I know we're going to be blessed. I want to talk about sustenance. Sustenance of God. Hii Kiswahili inanisumbua sana. Wapendo mtanisaidia na waswahili wenzangu ku kusitiri, ku being sustained. Being sustained. Mm-mm. Being sustained. Ah ah, waswahili. Being sustained. Eh? Oh, hallelujah. God send Kiswahilians here. Amen. Tutumie waswahili kwa hii kanisa. Hallelujah. Being sustained. Yaani ku, kuwekwa yani kustahimiliwa kustahimili okay but tu, tumeelewa kuwa sustained si ni kweli tumeelewa hiyo so ninaweza endelea amen labda tukiendelea ndani utaelewa vizuri kwa Kiswahili bwana Yesu asifiwe na Mungu atusaidie tupate interpreters ndio watu wengine wenye Kiingereza eh kufadhiliwa okay amen amenifadhili ameni sustain aya kiswahili dictionary iko google haraka haraka bwana asifiwe we have internet in this church google google haraka haraka namwambie pastor amen praise the lord sustenance is the work of progress sustenance mtu ku google ana google haraka haraka bwana asifiwe sustenance andika sustenance the meaning of sustenance in kiswahili itakuletea mambo siku ni haraka haraka amen sustain us Anything you get it needs sustenance Chochote unapata kinahitaji ile nafasi ama ile uwezo ya kuiweka ikae mahali pale Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa mfano Mungu amekupatia ndoa Ndoa isimame juu ya kusimama kuna kitu kinafanya ndoa inasimama Ah, kanisa bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Sitaki kusema nitaenda kwa muda mchache, tu nasemanga hivyo labda naenda sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo acha nisiseme ndio niende haraka haraka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Chochote unapokea kwa Mungu na kuambia mpendwa, unahitaji kitu ya kuifanya ikae. Kwa hivyo isishuke na usipoteze. kuifadhiwa ah ah good kuifadhiwa unahitaji kitu ya kuifadhi Bwana Yesu asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe kuifadhiwa na Mungu watu wengi wamepata vitu lakini hazijaifadhiwa na Mungu ndio maana unapata mtu anakuwa na watoto watoto wana wakufa wanaisha anakuwa na biashara anaanzisha kazi yake ni kuanzisha zikianguka anaanzisha zikianguka ndio maana mtu unapata wakristo wengi hawa maintain level moja leo hii ni tajiri kesho ni maskini leo hii yako nayo kesho ana oh, oh. are we talking bwana Yesu asifiwe Le, leo hii ameanza hii kesho amewacha ameenda ameanza hii Leo hii ameoleka na huyu 
kesho ameoleka na ule haleluya unaweza usifie <laughs> praise the lord anything you receive from god you need god to sustain it chochote unapokea kwa Mungu unahitaji Mungu aifadhi maana kia asipohifadhi kitapotea kana sio asifiwe kana sio bwana asifiwe kana sio bwana asifiwe anything that cannot be sustained by god will surely die haleluya 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 i'm going slowly for us to get it right many things have gone down because when we received it wakatulipokea tulisahau aliyetupa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Maana ngalala na macho mengine mpaka nashindwa kuendelea zaidi hapo. Amen. Mko sawa? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mahali Mkristo alianzia si hapo wako. Vitu mingi tumepokea kwa madhibao lakini mahali imefika na tumefika nayo tulisahau madhibao iko wapi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Wakristo wengi vitu mingi tulipokea wakati tulikuwa tunafunga na maombi wakati tulikuwa tunafika kanisa mapema lakini baada ya kuipokea we went away from the church sustenance so you have the product but you cannot sustain it the sustainer is absent you lose it Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kama mchungaji nimeombea ndoa mingi zenye zilianza kwa kanisa zikaishia kwa ba Wapi Kwa kanisa zinaishia wapi Kwa ba Bwana Yesu asifiwe Baba nipatie mzee Mungu wangu nitakutukuza nitakuabudu wakati tunapokea mzee unasahau Bado ufanye mzee pia okoke unasaidia mzee kulewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe so wakati mna dance pale kwa club kidogo kidogo mzee pia anaona mtu mwingine Bwana asifiwe haleluya next time aende na wewe anaenda peke yake jua aliona mwingine huko amen alafu kikiumana tunakuja tena kwa maombi pasi kimeumana nini kimeumana ndoa imeumana rikata tata busa tata eh eh mimi nimekataa kutumika amen Wana Yesu asifiwe. Yale tulipiga magoti tukaomba, tulipopokea, tulipoenda mbele, tulisahau. It's unfortunate today, Mkristo inafaa kumbushwe kutoa fungu la 10. Fungu la 10 unakumbushwa kutoa fungu la 10 mpendwa na wakati uliomba Mungu akupea kazi, alikupea kazi. Alikukumbusha hiyo. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Si wanaambiwa watu usitukane mkunga maana yake nini iko? Eh? Uga, uzazi ungali bado upo. Huti. <laughs> bwana Yesu asifiwe. No, today I'm just teaching you something. Kwa nini many believers wanapanda na wakui? There is something you could be na ukui. Ni kwa sababu you are on and off. You are on and off. You don't have the the the, the sustainer in you. The sustainer is absent. If you buy your safari com line 
you need to recharge that line for it to continue but as if you can't someone as if you can't someone as if you you need to charge that phone even if the credit is there and the charge is off nothing will work but as if you can't someone as if you Believers, we have the grace to receive, but we don't have grace to sustain it. Ndiyo tunaweza tunapokea, lakini kuichunga. Unajua kishida si kuipokea, shida ni kuilinda hiyo kitu hii. Uzazi si kupata mtoto, uzazi ni kulea. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Can you say what I say? Vitu wa Kristo we are blessed already. You are blessed already. The blessings in you, but listen to me. My question is this: Are you able to sustain those things? What you received in prayer, you maintained it in prayer. Whatever you received in sacrifice, you maintain it in sacrifice. You don't maintain it in sleeping. Ah. Uh, so choto ulipokea kwa kufunga na kuomba you maintain it kwa kufunga na kuomba eh haleluya haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe si kwa sababu kuna amani kwa biashara yako inamaanisha shida ikuji aa aa unajua kuna watu wanapiga ngesa kwa nasema siendi kanisa na mambo yangu iko sawa so she dey copy the devil is a liar the devil knows how to trick you anaku anakupatia iko kwa campaign ndio kiku crash ni dakika moja au una mali ya kukimbia unatafuta network hakuna bwana yesu asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe i'm not complaining lakini wale watu nimeombea mungu akawainua wakirudi mahali hapa hii kanisa inafaa iko imejengwa kanisa kubwa sana Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini nakuanga nikipata anapata. Una kuna na mtu amebarikiwa na amechange. Mwambie bwana asifiwe anakuambia mzuri sana. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Sustainment is being sustained by God. The sustainance of God. Whatever God has given to you, he has a trademark to sustain you. Ako na uwezo wa kufadhili chochote amekupatia. Akikupatia mtoto, ako na uwezo wa kulinda huyo mtoto mpaka mwisho. He has that trademark. Let's read something here. Isaiah 46 verse 3 Chapter 46 verse 3 to 4 Somebody Isaiah Somebody with a microphone very quick I am about to finish Isaiah 46 verse 3 Isaiah 46 verse 3 Yes to 4 yes Listen to me yes O house of Jacob mm. all the remnant of the house of Israel yes who have been born by the uh, who have been born by me from before your birth who have been born by me before the birth eh uh-huh. carried from the womb carried from the womb even to your old age I am he even in their old age I'm he and to gray hair I will carry you. What has he Even to gray hair I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. Eh. I will carry and will save. Eh. To whom will you liken me and make me equal? And compare me that we may be alike. Eh. Abu so mayako sister Verona ya Kiswahili. Eh. Yes. Mliochukuliwa nami tangu tumboni. Mliochukuliwa tangu nyumbani. 
Ehe. Hata uzee wenu mimi ndiye na hata wakati wenu wanguvi tabachukueni. Mi anasema I will sustain you from the womb till the old. Who is that? God. Nyinyi mliobaki the remnant nitakana nyinyi niliwalinda kwa tumbo na hata uzee wenu mpaka mvi ukikuja nitakuwa na nyinyi bado nitawabeba Una anasema God is saying nitawabeba bado I will sustain you No listen to me whatever you get from God God has the trademark a willing you received a husband from God God is willing to maintain that marriage oh you get a wife God is willing to maintain that marriage you got a business through God he is willing to maintain it mbaka uzeni In other words, kwa mipango ya Mungu hakuna mahali anamaliza kitu. Anaanzisha, anaipeleka mpaka mwisho. Kanisa bwana sifiwe. In other words, hakuna kitu Mungu anaanzisha ambacho hawezi maliza. Oh, kanisa bwana sifiwe. As believers we don't have power to sustain ourselves to sustain this ministry to sustain our marriages to sustain our business we need God to sustain us He's the one who can sustain you Being sustained ni kuhakikisha mahali umefika uendelee kupanda usirudi chini Maana ke ukipanda kuna uwezekano wa kurudi chini Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kwa sustained ni kuwekwa katika lelo fulani ya kutokukosa. Ah. Yaani wakati watu wanakosa wewe ukosi. Being sustained. Being maintained. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. alichukua wana wa Israeli akawatoa Misri hadi Kanani akiwa na mpango kuwa sustain akafungua barabara katikati ya maji akawapa chakula kwa desert he sustained them kanisa bwana asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe kikisha hakuna kitu anakosa sustenance of god when god sustains you you don't struggle with men because he supplies as the one says i shall supply all your needs according to riches in glory so he supplies according to his riches in glory not according to his riches on earth siku leo utajiri duniani riches in glory la kushekete why things go down why should we lack let's read this first second corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 second corinthians 9 verse 8 wa karindo wa pili 9 Second Corinthians 9:8 yes Yes Na Mungu aweza kufanya kwa jaza kila neema kila neema kila neema neema ya kifedha neema ya afya neema ya amani neema ya uwezo kila neema kwa wingi eh Eh. Namna siku zote. Eh. Wacha kuzidi sana katika kila tendo njema. Kama kilikuwa. Bwana asifiwe. Eh. 
and God is able to make all grace abound to you. And God is able to make all grace abound to you. So that having all, uh, all sufficiency in all the things at all times. That you have everything, sufficiency at all times that means akuna siku nasema akuna pesa akuna siku nasema akuna money that he will give you everything this is the God we are talking about being sustained by God so kwa nini tungangane na tayari anasema kwamba atatupatia neema yote kwa nini So listen, the problem is not God. The problem is us. Psalm 37 verse 17. The Lord says, For the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord sustains the righteous. Did you hear that? Can you read it? 37, 17 Psalms. So make sure you sister Veron do in a kwanga tam sana kisoili. Psalms 37. Zaburi. Ni Zaburi kweli? Eh, Zaburi. 37, 17. 37, 17. 37, 17. Eh. Maana mikono ya wasio haki yatafunjika. Eh. Lakini bwana hutengeneza wenye haki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini bwana hutengeneza wenye haki. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kanisa bwana. Yako nasema ni kiingereza. For the arm of the wicked shall be broken. Yes. But the Lord upholds the righteous. God is looking for a righteous person. A person that is connected with him for him to sustain him. Believers are crying and saying, Mimi si barikiri, mimi si. No, God is looking for you. Have you played your part? Are you serious with God? He's willing to sustain you. Sustain that job that you prayed for and he has given it to you. He's willing to sustain it. He's willing to take it from one level to another. But are you willing to connect with him more? Can you someone ask you? Sustain us by God. My life has been sustained by God. So I know what I'm talking about. God wants to sustain you but he needs you and I tell you he just need one thing you with him that when you receive you are still connected with him that God wait I know I don't have money but God you remain to be my God I know God the rain is so bad it is a lot of money the debt is so big but God I'm still with you. That yes, I've been praying for one year. I don't have a job, but that does not stop him from going to church. Listen to me, child of God. There's something that we want you to get. We are called to spread the gospel. These other things are benefit of spreading the gospel. Ah, I wish there's a person who can get this. So we are crying for the <laughs> ah. For the benefits, eh? Sister Mori, tu nangania benefits, like in Sikazi. So, when should I be blessed? When I do the job, the mission. What is the mission? Preaching the God. What? So, when do I claim my reward? Is when I'm doing the work of God. When I'm serving God. Okay. Can you say one answer view? Can you say one answer view? Believers, this one should be your prayer. When you are sitting down, you go on your knees and say, Baba no homo ni onese. Nani nitaubiria leo akufate na akujue. That should be your prayer. Daily. 
Then someone says, and you don't have food. No. When I do the mission, food will be provided. Because finances are benefits of serving God. Ah, good life, good health, they are benefits. Having abundance, they are benefits. But the mission is to preach the gospel. I said as a man of God, I'll preach the gospel. I don't care about finances because I know after doing the mission, the reward is there. The Bible says, and God is a rewarder for those who seek him diligently. He's a rewarder. God is not a con man. Most of us, we are praying, God, give me finances. My question is, what job have you done for God for him to give you? Because if you are in the agenda of God, God will provide because you are in his mission. If you are waking up early in the morning, you go to your job. As you are doing your job, somebody, when a customer comes, he can get one, two, three words. You can preach them, you can encourage them. No, you need a reward. Salary. It is a reward of solving a problem. It's a reward. It's a reward of solving a problem. Now I'm asking you, what do you do for God? For God to pay you. What do you do? For God to sustain you. What do you do for God? Oh, you know what? In Atawanga tithe, who told you that giving tithe you are helping God? You are helping yourself. You pay your tithe. If you do not pay your tithe, you stay. You, you are not helping God. Praying, you are not helping God. Oh, okay. Can I teach? Can I speak? Yeah, okay. Mutu, ana kujanga kwako, ana itishanga chakula, ana sema umlipia rent, ana sema usijua taka nini, lakini kuna kazi anakufanyi yanga. Na usimompatia na kasirika mpaka anasema mimi nitaacha kuokoka nitaacha kwenda kanisani naomba ngana sana na siona ngichezele kinatendeka mimi naamua ni sitende hiyo kanisa yenu hata tayari sitakuwa nikitoa heri nipatiange maskini kwa barabara viwete kwa barabara basi wapatie viwete kwa barabara na wakuwa na kushughulikia wewe kanisa bwana asifiwe oh hallelujah oh nimeingilia nimeingilia mtu eh hey, hey, watu wamenyamaza hallelujah what do you do for God? You are a musician. Say, God, help me, God. I'm asking you, who do you sing for? Who are you worshiping? Do the job. Let him do the rest. He knows that you are there. If I have employed a person, I know those who have employed, I know their salaries every month. I know how to pay them. Even if it goes to debt 10, I know I have to pay them. They don't need to remind me. Panes was if you. Kanisa bwana sifi. Unajua wengi tumekuwa beggars kwa baba yetu. Beggars to our father. Father give me. Father give me. Father give. What have you done? I'm asking what have you done? Wewe hata kuhubiria mtu mmoja, mtu mmoja ukomwambia twende kanisani. Hakuna. Na mkasubiri unatoka. Wewe ndio umeokoka sana. No, I'm asking you a question. What have you done to God? God wants to sustain you, but he wants to see what are you doing. He, by working for God, he sustains your job. He sustains your ministry. He sustains your marriage because you work for him. So you have something to call God. I said, God, I've been doing this for you. King Ezekiah. Aliambiwa, sikioka kufika mwishi mefika, you are going to die, put your house in order. Alifanya nini? Alienda kupanga nyumba hake? Aligeukia mungu. Hakaenda kwa bosu wake. Hakaenda kwa mbeka, haka mbia, God, listen, remember, I have served you well. Lord, I have served you well. Mina kuliza swali, nini unweza kumbusha mungu? Ah, then you have been unaweza kumbisha mungu nini? Oh, God, I'll be going every morning glory to the church. Listen, he is uh, 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 eh? God, I've been tithing. Tithing is you it is compulsory you pay. You pay. Now by the way, ujue kama tithe yako ni 10,000. Kama ni ngapi? 10,000. Hii ni siri na kuibia ujue. Ni ujue kama tithe yako inafika ngapi nguri ameifika ngapi. Kama tithe yako ni 100. That means unalipongo 1,000 per month. But it's a severe. 
ukose kutoa hii mwezi utoe next month unatoanga na fine ya fifth of it usipoitoa bado hujatoanga tithe bado <laughs> kuna kuanga na fine you pay tithe hii kwingi excuse tithe inalipwa hii ni kulipwa na isaidii Mungu kama una mkanga sibu naomba hiyo isaidii Mungu hii inasaidia wewe okay kaniza bwana asifiwe kaniza bwana asifiwe at god you know i pray so much oh no praying helps you fasting helps you it does not help god it helps you in your assignment to serve god but it does not help god kaniza bwana asifiwe kaniza bwana asifiwe kaniza bwana asifiwe Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm asking you a question today. What are you doing for God for God to sustain you? Me I know when I go to God and tell God God, you see. That's on a Facebook live. See the Facebook live because I'm not taking you know na watu anione no I'm preaching. I'm preaching. I'm preaching. My job it is solving people's problem. That's my job. That's why I have an office there to sit there, pray and pray for people. That's why I'm going siku naomba so that kesho mwa atakuja ni muombe ni kimuombea jambo litendeke. So I'm working. Na akitoa sadaka ni ikule. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Are you working for God or you are working for yourself? You're going to work in your job, you are not working for God, you are working for yourself. The only biggest job God has given to us is go out, fish. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Fish. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Go out and fish. Get a brother, they don't, they are not saved. Tell them Jesus loves you. There is God. Come and see. A church come and change. You must come to a realization that I need to preach the gospel. I'm not a pastor because I don't need to be in the pulpit to preach. I just need to know Jesus and wake up and teach people about Jesus. Then tell God, God, you can see I've served you. Lord, remember me. Sustain me. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Sustain us. Sustain us. God wants to sustain you. God wants to sustain you. He says the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord sustains the righteous. People was they, they are with God like this. People watu wenye wako pale kusengenya wachungaji na kusengenya washirika watu wakai kwa watu wa vitina Psalms 1:1 Blessed is the man that walks not in the castle of the wicked nor sits in the seats of the scoffers nor stands in the ways of the mockers but his delight is in the Lord he meditates it day then there is a good point there he is like a tree planted by the water that 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 bears in it so okay are you that person because that is the blessed person are you that person Blessed is the man. This is about righteousness, standing with God, staying away from the corrupt men and moving forward, looking for people to come to the kingdom of God. I am a time of fishing. You go and preach this is a time of fishing. Unafanya kazi kidogo you get some people. Mpaka watu wanakufanyia kazi wanajua ngo huyu mtu anakuwa ameokoka. Yes, huyu anakuwa ameokoka. And they start loving God because of you. In your marriage, your husband starts loving God because of you. Your children start loving God because of you. Paneso asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Sema being sustained by God. God is there to sustain us. But he wants us to do one thing. To maintain our relationship with him. Our relationship with him. Our relationship with him. 
There's one thing to know God, and there's another thing, God knowing you. You knowing God does not have power than God knowing you. Why? Because knowing President Kenyatta, everybody knows him. But when he knows you, you will only he will only know you when you're working for him. Ah, he will only know you when your job is it is stands. Kuna watu organiza na hata Mungu awajui. Maana kia kuna kazi. If you know, I'm just giving you with the world leaders, knowing who Kenyatta, everybody knows him. Because also, who is Uru Kenyatta? He's the president of the Republic of Kenya. They know him. Who, do you know uh, Donald Trump, former president of the United States of America? But does he know you? But it's he feel? So when God knows you, you call upon him and he comes. Ah, you have the direct line when you call. He says, I've seen a number and I know this is my son. Obed is calling. Ah, because there's a relationship between you and him. You, there's something you're working, there's some errands you are doing for you. So when you call, he picks the call. He says, Listen to me, it is emergency. When I see my son is calling, that means there is something that is requiring, and there is something there is assistance that he need. Everything should stop. Let me pick this call. Some people they call me in the other line, not church line, the other line. I don't pick it because I don't see the name. I've not saved the name, so I don't expect them to call me. I don't pick it. I don't. But the, the one that I've saved, when they call, I know, uh huh. If he has called me, he wants this. I pick the call. Very quick. Does God have your number? Does he know that? Are you, is there anything you're doing for him? But that's what he Sometimes when I'm, I'm busy somewhere and I see a number of the principal of the school, I see him calling or I see mom calling, I can say, excuse me for a minute. Excuse me. I go, hello, Kunashida. Oh, uh, Kunashida. Oh, ah, meeting. But I pick the call. But the kind number I don't pick it. After I pick a maramia, I don't pick it. Because I'm busy. God in a personal level does God know you because lazima kuna kazi unafanyia Mungu inafanya ajue bwana Yesu asifiwe mimi nakuuliza unafanyia Mungu kazi gani enyi nafanyia Mungu anajua ambapo kitana mungu linasimama anasema kuna mtu ameitana na lazima uhudumiwe i want us to reach to a point of knowing god and a point of god knowing us when a man knows god and god knows you and god reaches to a point of honoring you i tell you when god honors you man i have no any other issue but to honor you when god blesses you man i have to bless you they cannot reject you they have to accept you because you are known in heaven Everybody has identity in heaven. Do you know that? Do you know that? Everybody has identity. Spiritual identity. Everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anangalia kiro. Ata mganga. Awezi kuroga tu hivo. Si anandanga kiro. Anatafuta wewe. Anakupata kiro. Anapata ni. Ni jamaa wa hallelujah mingi. Na hakuna kiti yote. Ah. Hii daiga moja ini narogea wewe hii. But when they enter the spiritual realm, they get to identity and the rank, and they see this person, the badge. This person is on another level. He's a worker in the kingdom of heaven, and he has a rank in heaven. They say, I don't, I cannot touch this one. I can't touch. I can't touch this one. But that's what you feel. But that's what you feel. Jirani and Zena Kukuroga, and then Oko Paraga, Bakana Kuchia. Najifanyago Mogoga San. Because Aliena Kataribi Megata, so the Rabani Kukutusi do. Eh, Najiwa Makoka San, Unajionanga to Junomanga San, Amenda Kapika Kapika Bupua, Umuto is Shikwa. 
I pray today that you shall serve God and you shall receive a rank in heaven. That men will not stop you. Nobody can stop you. You can be sustained by the heavens. By the heavens. By the heavens. That you can sit down and say, I'm calling this and this and this. And they come. You are sustained by the heavens. That when the Bible says, Before they ask, they shall receive. Before they do what? Say, from today, I shall be sustained by God. Say, my family shall be sustained by God. Say, my family shall be sustained by God. Maisha yangu itaifadhiwa. Kuanzia leo hii. Stand up on your feet. I'm finishing. Makatulada. Zekete payada. Say I shall lose nothing. Sema sitapoteza chochote. Nitalindwa na Mungu. Sema nimelindwa. Sitapoteza chochote. Maisha ni mwangu. Chochote nimepokea. Nicha kudumu milele Sema chochote nimepokea Nicha kudumu milele Sema ndoa yangu Ni ya kudumu Watoto wangu Ni wa kudumu Chochote nikonacho It is sustained In the name of Jesus Biashara nilionayo Haita unguka Itasimama I am sustained By the heavens Whatever I have Nobody can take it away. I'm not going down. I'm going up in the name of Jesus. I cannot go down. I cannot live a life. Your panda shuka. I cannot live. You can never live a life of struggling when you are serving God. When you are serving God with all your heart, you cannot live a life. Ya kupata na kupotea. Ya pata potea. Say in the name of Jesus, I shall never lack. I shall never lack. In the name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth. I want you to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, Father, sustain me. Sustain me. Sustain us. I pray. Ni fadi. In fadi. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In fadi kipawa nilionayo. In fadi no nilionayo. In fadi. Ifadi Biashara yanguke I declare Kuifadhiwa sasa Kuifadhiwa Katika jino la yesu Ni maifadhiwa Biashara yangu imeifadhiwa Haijalishi wanasema nini Haijalishi wanatangaza yepi Ni maifadhiwa Lakata Lekata labusha Riabade katatata I am sustained by God I am sustained by God. I am sustained by God. I am backed by the heaven. I am backed by heaven. Nimeshikiliwa na pingu. Kwa hivyo hakuna kurudi nyuma. Hakuna kushuka chini. Leka tala bayana. Wanaongoja twende chini. Watangoja sana. Wanaongoja twende chini. Watangoja sana. Yeka tala ba. Yeka tala ya ne. Rika tala ba. Watangoja. Watangoja. Wanaongoja tuombe what a good salary! Look at the party on the hill. You are making a good salary. You are sustained by God. You are sustained by God. You shall not lose what is yours. You shall not lose it. You shall not lose it. Look at the party on the hill. 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 You shall not go down. You shall stay up for the glory of God. Ye 
Listen to me. Listen to me. There are many things will come on your way to make sure you go down, to make sure you lack. But guess what? As you are keeping on serving God, luck will never be in your mouth. I say, Kukosa ita iku mdomo ni mwako katika jina la Yesu Christo. I say, Kukosa ita kuwa katika maisha yako. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, I declare from today, every grace shall abound in me, shall abound in me. From today, I'm not going down. I'm not going down. I'm not going down. I'm not going down. Wana juwa kuna watu. Wana fika maali wana sema. Wana jisikia sana. Wacha tuacha kununua kwa ke. Tuwane atenda wapi. I declare from today. Their words will do nothing to you. Maneno yao hayata fanya kazi. Katika maisha yako. I declare their words will do nothing. In the name of Jesus. Say I am sustained by God. I am sustained. Say I am sustained by God. I am sustained. I am sustained by God. I am sustained. You shall not lose your marriage. Ata kama nafanya kazi na wanawake wa rembo wanaka wa rembo kukuliko. You shall not lose your marriage. You shall not lose your marriage. Jesus Christ. Ata kama anafanya kazi na wanaume wazuri kukuliko. I declare the name of Jesus. You shall not lose your head. It doesn't matter the situation. I declare may God sustain you. Yes, you I say may God sustain you. Ile levo amekufikisha au tarudi chini tena. Kiwango chako ni kuzidi kupanda juu. You are going to be sustained by God. Wakati kuna kosekana kwako kusikosekane. You are going to be sustained by God. From today I declare no going down. 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 In the name of Jesus. No going down. No going down. Just lift up your hand. I want to pray for you. I want to declare this. From today, the staircase that you are standing on, I declare from today, every reverse gear is removed. I destroy every reverse gear in the name of Jesus. From today, I declare the spirit, the grace of moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. And now I introduce the sustainance of God upon your life. May God sustain you. May God sustain you from today. May God sustain your life. From today, you shall be a wonder. From today, nobody will stop you. In Jesus' name. Say, Father. Say, Father. Help me to stand with you. Say, Father. Help me. Help me to, to stand and to go up. To go up. Say every shake up that will come on my way shall not bring me down. Shall not bring me down. In Jesus' name.